Welcome to The Journey. Today we're talking about seven ways to create multiple income streams as a web designer. Do you remember when Amazon used to only sell books? Well, if you'd like to experience more top line growth in your line of work, like mine too, it's high time you follow the lead of the world's largest internet based company and create multiple income streams. As a web designer, you're in luck. There are a number of revenue generating services that your existing clients desperately need. And here are seven ideas to set your entrepreneurship wheels in motion. Starting off with search engine optimization or SEO. At this point, even mom and pop stores understand there is at least some SEO that is necessary for their online success. What they might not understand is exactly how that works. When presenting this new service to clients, there are a couple of things that you should avoid. Starting off with overwhelming them, SEO and marketing aren't their areas of expertise. That's why they need you. Going into too much detail will only complicate an already complex subject. Also avoid playing the magician. Uh, however, being too vague will quickly raise red flags. Don't keep your methods a mystery. Mm -mm. Give a straightforward overview of what kind of approach you plan to take, as well as milestones that the client can expect. This next one is something I dabbled in as a web designer, and that's social media marketing. And whether it's scheduling social posts and responding to comments and segmenting audiences and designing targeted ads, social media marketing is a great tool to expand multiple income streams. This provides you with an excellent response to remarks like, my website doesn't have any traffic and nobody is reading my blogs. Well, with a little skills, SEO and social media marketing, their website will finally reach the target audience they aim to convert. Let's talk about content writing. Uh, I think most web designers will know exactly why content writing is on the list. How many of your projects have veered off course as a direct result of the content backup? The client slowly checks off each point of your project timeline. That is until you reach the content collection stage. Right. You can imagine the website just hanging out with lorem ipsum text all over the place while you're waiting for the client to provide you what should go there in the first place. But pro tip, do both yourself and the client a favor. Offer content writing as an add on service to web design. And this next part is probably one of the easiest ways to add additional revenue. And that is to, by providing ongoing support and development in the form of care plans. Now ongoing support and ongoing maintenance can serve as a solution for a number of website problems faced by the client. For example, if the client wants to make regular website edits, but doesn't know how, uh, wants a web design that never grows outdated, or they want to keep plugins and security up to date. And lastly, maybe optimization through like A-B testing to see whether the, the site that you've built is the best optimized. These monthly maintenance packages or website care plans are popular with small businesses, while conversion optimization appeals to clients with larger budgets. Not to mention, it shows not only your attention to detail, but a dedication to their business after the deal is done, which, if done right, boosts your reputation and credibility. And now one thing I do like to do with these website care plans is I like to talk about this upfront in the actual web development process. Don't wait to the very end and then hit them with a, oh, I can also offer these services. Let them know that this is an option during your proposal stage. You'll have a much higher success for them saying yes. Now, now that they know about it and know all the hard work that goes into it. You can offer your own web hosting. Now, this pairs very nicely with ongoing support and development, and you don't need to be a sysadmin expert or full stack web developer. Reseller hosting plans and partner programs will let you white label hosting from another provider. And your clients, they will see your business as their single point of contact, but you'll have a dedicated team there backing you up. Yeah, and you'll also have more control over your client's website setup and the backend server configuration. And depending on the reseller program you join, you may also be able to provide more services beyond just web hosting. For example, GoDaddy reseller program members can also offer domain registrations, SSL certificates, and other white labeled GoDaddy products to their clients. Now let's talk about WordPress themes and customization. Offering ready-made website templates at a lower price than custom web design will allow you to earn the business of audiences on a tight budget, right? And your strategy might not be to make money on the templates themselves, but just getting your foot in the door and establishing a relationship with new clients is worth offering less expensive services. And as they grow, they'll have more resources to invest back into their business. And let's not forget a necessity for any business using WordPress themes. 
customization. Unless they want to run the risk of landing the same website as Joe Schmo down the street, they'll need a few adjustments. And for those who are unable to tackle adjustments themselves, customization would make a great add-on service to their theme purchase. Before you dive into creating multiple income streams, as with any investment in business, there are risks. And even if you manage to establish multiple income streams without spending money, you're spending your time, that sweat equity, which is ultimately of greater value. Yeah, so start by asking yourself a few simple questions. Uh, what kind of website problems do my customers frequently run into? Which services do my competitors offer in addition to web design? And what does keyword research reveal about the services I'm considering? Now, after you feel like you have zeroed in on the service or services that you would like to offer, run it by your peers, friends, family, and customers, and pay close attention to their feedback and wait until you are 110% certain before communicating the change to your audience. Nothing cries unstable like a business that announces new ventures on a whim. Nowadays, retail sales, let alone books, can hardly take credit for Amazon's success. Much of the company's profit comes from Amazon Web Services, their cloud computing platform. Creating multiple income streams is a win for all businesses, not just retail giants like Amazon. There's no telling what this will open up for your web design business. All right, that's a wrap. You just learned seven ways to create multiple income streams as a web designer. Be sure to comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you ring that bell to so get these episodes first. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.